What is up everyone? I super pumped. Guys, this is a video all about pants with the one and only Ashley Weston. She is a celebrity menswear stylist. We actually have a follow-up video to the top part, so. Yes, shirts. over at my channel. So, so we're gonna talk all things shirts and how they should fit over at my channel. I think you're gonna link it in the description. I'm gonna link it in the description. There so go over, go. smash that like button, leave a comment. Let her know that you came from this video and we wanna support it, because this is all about menswear, guys. That's what she does. She, she is celebrity stylish to a lot of big names here in Hollywood. You're so sweet. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna listen to her. Yeah, because we're gonna tackle all of the challenges that you all face and that you face, I'm sure, as well for um, with finding the right pant. Yep. So that means jeans, chinos, wool trousers, your pants should all fit the same. So there's not different fits for, depending on if it's a jean versus a wool pant. They should all fit the same. All the same. And we're gonna go get into the nitty gritty detail the to, nitty help, gritty. to help you guys find the perfect pair of pants. I'm excited. So basically it's really important to first have your jeans fit your thigh area and then your C, I'm gonna have you turn around, the C area. So this whole area. Um, now, what you want to be able to do is with your thighs, we should be able to pinch like, like half an inch or so. Um, that's what you want. And then from there, we can go to the waist. So a lot of times it'll fit this area, but then if it puckers a little, it could pucker sometimes. So it's all right if it's like, if you just, if it's just a little bit, but a lot of times your tailor can easily just take that in and then that way you have it fit. Okay, so, so knee down to the ankle. What's important is you want it to fit this area here. So you should be able to pinch like half an inch and then from here, straight down pretty much. You could taper just a little bit. And then as far as the length goes, this is the length you want so that then you can roll it here. So then you can roll it if you want. But this is the slight break that you want. For the longest time, I felt like I either could choose to squat or I could choose to wear pants. <laughs> so it was either, I like I should say jeans, chinos, like yeah. it was like, okay, if I, if I get my legs real big, you know, if they're gonna be, you know, you don't wanna skip leg day, but at the same time, you don't wanna have to just wear shorts or yes. sweatpants around all the time. And I get it, I get it. It could be a challenge. And so that's why I wanna just help walk you all through, like when you're at a store, you know, department store, whatever, and you're trying to find a pair of pants that fit you right, what do you do? What should you look for mm -hmm. first? And so for me, I always wanna tell you guys all out there that you wanna concentrate on straight leg first, and then you could do a slim straight, which have a slight taper, a relaxed um, taper as well. You don't wanna really do a relaxed fit for the most part because that's just baggy, that's like dad jeans, it's just baggy all over. But something with that says slim or taper, but coupled with the words straight or relaxed. So, a couple different brands that I really like that could be just like a good launching point for you to try on would be like J Brand. Their straight leg fit is called the Cane Jean. The cane. So, I'm a really big fan of theirs. They have it's very roomy in the booty and the thigh area. Okay. Um, and then there's also Levi's 501 Tapers. You could try the 513s, which is like their slim straight. Um, but th that's like a good launching point. And then Diesel as well. But Diesel, sometimes the fit of, they have like names for their different fits right. and it can all fit really differently. Mm -hmm. um, so, I've noticed that. But Diesel also, they, they do make some roomier um, jeans in the thigh area. And then another one that I really like is um, by J. Crew. So J. Crew makes especially their chinos and their jeans, but even their wool trousers as well. They have a straight leg version. I forget what the, it's like 727 or something like that. They only have two fits, so it's slim or straight, gotcha. but their straight leg is awesome. But that's like a good starting point to at least try on um, their jeans so that you can figure out, okay, what am I? And then we'll go into what to look for, which is your thighs and the seat area, so the booty area. That's where we wanna make sure your jeans fit, that they're not skin tight, but they're also not super baggy and droopy. So if you're going into the fitting room, mm -hmm. you, you've selected a pair of jeans. Well, first off, do you think you should have a staple items? Like, you know, should you start off with a darker wash, a light wash, black? Like Good question, good question. Yes, so start off with a um, dark indigo wash, and then you can move on with the black wash. Um, I, I wouldn't say 
light wash jeans. I think that if you're much further along in your style journey, gotcha. then you can try that. But with light wash jeans, it can be a little tough because it okay. can really, um, it almost like, it, it, it can be very unflattering on some people. And if you have really big thighs, it can look um, not the best. Yep. So unless you really know how to dress, I would say leave that off the menu for now okay. and revisit it later. White jeans as well then? Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. white, white jeans as well. <laughs> I mean, uh, unless you are really, um, you're really good about not touching surfaces. Yes. Gotcha. I mean, white jeans in general are just a pain in the butt to gotcha. wear. No um, I don't know. I, I don't know about you. How <laughs> clean you are, or how like it, maybe if you're in a sterile room, right, right. <laughs> you could wear that. If you're not sitting on anything ever. <laughs> yeah, but definitely um, do a dark wash jean. I would say first dark wash or black, either the two, one of the two. And the and when we're talking about these rip jeans, we probably want to steer away from rip jeans, yes. like because I, I I know I wear a lot. If I'm wearing like streetwear stuff. I will, you know, if I'm wearing my sneakers, I will have some ripped jeans that I rotate in, but you need that staple pair. You gotta have the staple pair. So chinos, wool pants, um, and then just a good old pair of um, just, you know, regular jeans, uh, dark wash, and black. You can rock with anything. Yeah, exactly. And this, this fit guide though, I mean, the, the way that, what we're talking about in terms of the fit your pants will mm -hmm. apply even to ripped jeans or whatever yep. other variations yep. you want to go with. Okay. But make sure that the thighs and the, and the butt area, that's the area you want to concentrate on first to make sure that they fit because the goal is, is to find a great pair of jeans. And to, if you can help it, not have to tailor them. I mean, we're, we've talked about tailoring and how important it is to make sure your clothes fit right. And it's just a necessary cost that you should build in to whatever item that you purchase but I'm here to try to help minimize that um, or eliminate it if we can fully and so the first thing you want to do is make sure it fits in those two areas and that's you, huge yeah and you should be able to pinch I would say maybe around like half an inch to an inch on either side of your thigh that's when you have like enough room in there um, I would say like for your dress pants maybe an inch to inch and a half you could do a little bit more just okay. so that when you sit down they don't you have know, much give they, so you're gonna want, yeah, you when want you to have sit, more room exactly when you sit down you don't want it to feel like it's your thighs are gonna burst out from the seams but generally with jeans and chinos um, you're gonna focus on trying to find uh, jeans that and pants that have a little bit of stretch a little spandex in them they'll be a lot more comfortable for you mm -hmm. uh, rather than something that's really stiff. Gotcha. Um, so that's what I'd say. First area, definitely concentrate on. Now, which is usually that area. So like myself, mm -hmm. when I tried on jeans, first thing you do is you put them on. Oh, they don't fit in the waist. Well, don't yeah, don't that, worry about that. <laughs> that is something I, I, I'm sure 90% of people watching this channel, um, you guys have put that put them on. First thing you do, oh, too big in the waist or too. Obviously, if they're too small, they're not going to work, but yeah. too big, that's okay if they fit in those other places, which it's, is... Exactly. That's good for me to hear. Yeah, and I think, because a lot of men, were, you know, they're always told, like, okay, what's your waist size, and yes. shop by your waist size. Yes. I'm like, but for muscular men in particular, you do not need to shop. I mean, obviously, you want to loosely, like, pull yeah. your waist size, but that's not the area we're concentrating on. The area we're concentrating on for fit is to make sure the thighs and the seat fit, and then with the waist, if it's a little big, like, okay, maybe half an inch or an inch where it kind of peeks out from the back, so I call that puckering, so it doesn't sit flat against your um, your lower back area, then, you know, if it's only half an inch, just throw on a belt, that's, like, it doesn't need to be tailored, but if it's more than that, maybe an inch, you can pinch, then take it to a tailor, find them on Yelp, um, and have the tailor just take in the waistband area um, to fit properly, right. and it's, it's really inexpensive, really fast and easy to do. Um, so that's like, I would say that's the biggest thing. Like, you know, don't worry about the waist. We could fix the waist. Yep. And then from there, knees down to your ankle. So obviously you're built, you are, you know, from the top to uh, your shoulders all the way down to your, to your ankles. It's going to be like a V shape all the way down. And so we don't want to have you wear a pant where there's a ton of fabric around the ankles. Right. That's not what you want because that's just going to make you look like really like stocky, like you can't move. Right. And that's not the goal. So we want to highlight um, your, like your physique. And so you do want a bit of a taper. Obviously, we want to make sure that your calves are not like it's it the the pant doesn't fit skin tight along your calves. Make sure there's some room in there. Um, with your dress pants, if it feels a little snug, you can actually have your tailor let it out. Ah. 
Yeah, so just, just, just a little thing. If everywhere else fits great, have your tailor just let it out because he can let out about up to, I would say three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch sometimes. So he can always let it out super simple. It's just like tapering your pants. Mm -hmm. He can let it out a little bit, but with your jeans and your chinos, um, you're not letting anything out. You'll be right. tapering from that point. So make sure it's not super tight. And if um, you should be able to pinch mm, about half an inch, I would say. Um, maybe an inch, up to an inch, okay. uh, 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 on either side of your calves, and just have it go, just maybe taper a little bit, but I like to um, have it like from the calves go straight down, wherever it fits like on your calf. So one, one question I always kind of have is, obviously we don't roll dress pants, but when I'm wearing jeans, you know, when I'm wearing them with Vans or loafers versus boots, you know, I, sometimes in the su spring, summer, you know, like, versus winter, I don't know how much to roll. Okay, that's a good question. Um, so during the spring and summer months, generally the goal is to show off a little bit of ankle, to pair it with a, like you said, a loafer mm -hmm. or a, a low top sneaker. So you wanna roll it where it basically, it's usually about two to three times you're gonna roll it, where it your ankle bone, you want it to hit just above your ankle bone. Ah, yeah, okay. so that's that's just enough. Show you don't wanna go, ankle. yeah, you don't wanna go further than that where it's even shorter because that's just gonna look like a cropped pair of pants, like a capri or like, like a, a man capri. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna look good at all, that's too much. And if you go lower than the ankle bone then it's just gonna look like you had them hemmed too short and that you've like outgrown mm, so them. So that's the, the no-go like zone. Yeah that's the no-go zone. So you want to hit it generally right at the top of your okay. ankle bone. That is good. So if you want to know how to exactly roll your pants whether they're chinos or jeans I did a super in-depth video on my channel so see I'm sure link it in we'll the link description. It for you guys. Yeah but that goes into detail like really a lot of detail about how exactly do you roll them. Roll it and then in the winter time with boots too. Winter can... time so winter time with boots you basically want the pant so your chino or your jean to hit about um, I would say it's around your ankle bone length, but it's like you want it to hit like just above mm -hmm. the like where the laces meet like the like the top of your foot. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah. Verbally, but anatomically on the boot yes. where it hits, but yeah. <laughs> so just show some lace. Yes, you okay. want to show some lace because um, you don't want it pooling right. like um, around your boot. So you want to show a little bit of that kind of upper half of your uh, your boot. Nice. And that's it. And then for pants that you don't roll necessarily, so like, would you ever tell anyone to uh, a chino to get like you know a a, a cuff that or a would you have them hem them higher just or would you just only do that with suit pants um it's really i generally only do that with suit pants okay. because i mean unless you just have an unlimited budget and you want to have your spring and summer jeans and chinos and, that are hemmed for a little bit of ankle showing and then your other jeans and chinos that are hemmed for when you just want to have no ankle showing i don't think that makes sense yeah it's it's, it's, it's and especially just cost wise and just practicality wise right. to then separate them and make sure like oh wait are these the short jeans or are these the, my regular that length jeans sense. so that's when rolling is really um uh, you know the best option but regardless of whatever pant that you wear I highly recommend that you get them hemmed so that they have um, a slight break you don't want a full break a full break is when it really like it's really gonna cut you at the ankle okay um, and not and it's just not gonna balance out your proportions the way you want so a slight break no matter what your body type is no matter what your height is is what you want and then you could if you wanted to do a no break so no break is where your pants literally like just skim the top of your shoe. Mm. Yeah, but okay. slight break is like the way to go because it's you can you can get it shorter by rolling it up and gotcha. then it looks good. Like it's always gonna look good. It's like my go-to. A slight hem. break. Yeah, with all my clients, slight break is my go-to hem. That's what, you get, that's what you guys need to know. Slight break. Write it down. <laughs> And that's how your pants should fit if you have a muscular build. That's what you should look for when you're shopping. Just try a bunch of different styles, take a bunch of them, different brands, and bring them into the dressing room and try them on. Hopefully you guys have taken notes because that was a lot of great information. <laughs> We're gonna do this all again with tops over on Ashley's channel again that is linked in here. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. Smash that like button and give it a thumbs up for Ashley here. This was great. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. All right. On. See you guys over at my channel. Bye.